Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on Twitter, I asked you guys if I did a RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 3 cast speculation video, if you guys would watch it. 50% of you guys said yes, 25% of you, 25 I can't speak, said what's Drag Race, and the other 25% said nah. So the 25% that said nah, you can go fuck yourself. No, I'm just kidding. So for those of you who don't know what Drag Race is, according to Google, RuPaul's Drag Race is an American reality competition television series produced by World of Wonder for logo. TV and beginning with the ninth season of VH1. Blah, blah, blah. The show documents RuPaul and the search for America's next drag superstar. RuPaul plays the role of host, mentor, and head judge for this series, as contestants are given different challenges each week. RuPaul's Drag Race employs a panel of judges including RuPaul, Michelle Visage, Ross Matthews, Carson Kressley, and a host of other guest judges who critique contestants' progress throughout the competition. The title of the show is a play on drag queen and drag racing, and the title sequence and drag race both have a drag race theme. So yeah, did that break it down for you? If not, if you didn't get it, you didn't watch the show. So in this video, I'm gonna be spinning a little tea, throwing a little shade on the supposed cast of All Stars 3. I've been on YouTube and I've seen all those you guys know what videos I'm talking about. If you're a Drag Race fan, you've seen at least one video with that annoying ass song that Nina Bonita Brown is always talking about. I don't know why I laugh. Every time I hear that song, it's so hilarious. I've been seeing a couple videos, you know, floating around YouTube talking about the cast of All Stars 3. And apparently, the cast has been like, it's not official, but it's been leaked and these are the 10 queens that are probably more than likely gonna be on this show. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first alleged queen on the show is Aja. Aja just came off of season nine. She placed ninth and lost against Nina Bonina Brown. So shout out to you. Just kidding. Um, Aja is a Brooklyn queen. She's a dancer, darling. She knows how to death drop. She is the originator of you're perfect, you're beautiful, you look like Linda Evangelista. How can you forget? I am not really a fan. I mean that that speech, that shade at, you know, one of my favorite queens, Valentina, it was iconic. Like you can't deny that. So I don't know. I want to. It's gonna be interesting to see how she interacts with the other queens. Is she gonna be shady, shady? I don't know what's in store for Aisha. Who knows? Maybe she might win it. I doubt it. Next alleged queen to be on All Stars 3 is Ben De La Creme. Ben De La Creme won the very first challenge on season six. She went home in a lip sync battle against Starry and Lake, which we're gonna get to in a minute. She's known for her Michelle Visage mug, which. Bitch stole her look. No, like the resemblance. Like she paints exactly like Michelle Visage. Like, is that her drag inspiration? She's known for, be for being very funny. A lot of people were upset when she went home against Darian Lake and Darian Lake took her spot for final four. I think she's gonna make it very far. My sister loves her. Ah, I'm not much of a fan, but she's okay. So let's see what she's got on All Stars 3. Next up is Chi Chi Devane. Chi Chi Devane is a country queen. Her accent, she was hilarious. She's a dancer. She knows how to turn the party. She's known for her snap. Chi Chi is most known for her iconic, I wouldn't say it's iconic, eh, it was okay. Her iconic lip sync against Thorgy Thor when she just was belching out. She was taking everyone to church and her thing just ripped and there was beats everywhere when it was dramatic and scandalous and people were living for it. It'll be cool to see her on All Star Suite and see how she interacts with someone like Aja because they both have big personalities. So are they gonna be best friends? Are they gonna be catty? It's gonna be cool to see how that turns out. The next queen is Darian Lake. Darian Lake was on season six and she was also on the same season that Bendela was and their dynamic was weird. They were like friends, but they were like enemies. Like they fought, but then they laid up. So a lot of people actually didn't like her because she took Bendela's spot for top four. They just, they were, she got a lot of crap. She got a lot of shit, let's be honest here. She's known for being big and being loud and being all up in your face. Reminds me of someone. I don't really care for her. I hope she's not on it, is that me? Next, the next alleged queen is Kenny Davenport, which, ooh, sorry to break it to you, I'm not a fan. Yes, she can dance. Yes, she has attitude. Yes, she can sew. But come on, how can we forget 
this look. What is this look? She should have been in the bottom. She should have gone home before they even started judging and giving her critiques. Like, I will never let it go. Like, this look is one of the worst looks on Drag Race. And her story for it was BS. A lot of people are saying, how are her and Chi Chi gonna get along? Because they both are, they're very similar. They both can give a kick. They both can give a twirl. They're dancers. They're loud, they're in your face, they're funny. Well, at least Chi Chi is. I don't know, people are saying that that's another dynamic duo that it's gonna be like, boom, they're gonna clash for sure. Next queen is Milk. Milk is a very campy queen, is a very jokester, she's a clown. I mean, she said it best on season six. She said, well, aren't we just a bunch of clowns? And she came in with her iconic matador look and toilet paper stuck to her shoe. So clearly, she's a jokester. She doesn't take herself too serious. A lot of people were saying that her style of drag is very different, which it is because a lot of people tend to go for the beauty pageant look. She takes a different route towards drag. It's very quirky, it's very avant-garde, if you will. There you go, that's a good word to describe it. So I don't think she'll make it far just because you have people like Chi Chi and Bendela, like, I don't know, I, she could prove me wrong. She can make it to final three, but I honestly don't see her making it far. Next we have Morgan McMichaels, which she's a season two queen. I honestly wasn't a fan of her. The only thing honestly that I can remember from her season was her lip syncs, which I guess that's that's a good thing actually because that's what drag queens are known for doing. She, her two of hearts, two hearts. She was just, she was killing. She's also known for being dramatic, like fighting. She was the one who instigated the fight. She was the one who made Mystique say, bitch, I'm from Chicago. So I don't know, she's probably gonna beat drama. They probably just brought her back for the drama. People say she paints nice, but honestly, the only thing, like I said, that she has for her is a lip sync. So maybe if she's in the bottom, she can get her way out of it. I don't know, not really looking forward to her. Then we have Thorgy Thor, which honestly, I think her elimination was unfair. She was the one who got sent home by Chi Chi Devane, Miss Snaps when they lip sync to that one song, honestly I don't remember, but where the dramatic chains were broken and her marbles went flying everywhere. A lot of people gave her shit for that lip sync because she was trying to be funny when the song wasn't a funny song. It was like a gospel, take me to church kind of song. So a lot of people gave her shit because of that. They were like, why is she trying to be funny by doing cartwheels and all these things, which I hate when people give a queen hate for like their style and like, like I'm not a drag king clearly, but like that's their style like you can't hate someone for doing what they do like come on you know you, you guys get where i'm coming from on season eight we saw thorgy thor have this like battle with bob the drag queen which was the winner of season eight and so we saw a lot of her like i hate bob i want to beat bob bob needs to go down i want to be the one to take down bob so it'll be interesting to see that like a completely different side of thorgy on the show not talking about bob because honestly she spent most of the season talking about how she wanted to take down bob her snatch game was funny she did michael jackson it was on point I think she she could have won that. I don't think Bob should have won that. Her Michael Jackson was on point. She did Michael justice. So, like I said, it'll be interesting to see her on the show and see her not talk about Bob. Then we have Trixie Mattel. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Trixie Mattel is best known for her face, for her mug. She is obviously a, a campy queen. She's all about jokes, all about being funny. She doesn't have to try hard to be funny. On season seven, people were devastated when she got sent home by Pearl. Once again, they said she was robbed. That's one queen who everyone says was robbed. They said that Pearl should have gone home. She was always sleeping. Trixie didn't deserve to go home. The funny thing is Trixie was then brought back and then she was sent home again, I believe like two, three episodes afterwards by Ginger Minj, which this is what sucks about Drag Race. If you're a queen who sends like a fan favorite home, then everyone hates you. It's like, skirt, you're hated on. Like Nina Bonina Brown when she sent Valentina home. Ugh, I don't want to talk about Valentina because it's so sad, but a lot of people gave Nina shit because she sent Valentina home and just like that. Ginger got shit and so did Pearl because they sent Trixie Mattel home. So Trixie Mattel has gained such a huge following ever since her season. She's on uh, which is a show on WOW Presents, which is on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, you guys should definitely check it out. 
At first, I'm not gonna lie, I hated Trixie Mattel because, I don't know, there was just something about her. I hate to admit it, but I have a change of heart and I actually like Trixie Mattel, like I said. Trixie Mattel has a huge following. Everyone is in love with her, her quotes, her makeup, just people are obsessed with her. I feel sorry for the queen that sends her home because there's gonna be a lot of people coming for them. And last but not least, Shangela Laquifa Wadley. Laquifa. Laquifa is from Texas, I believe. She's she's part of the House of Edwards girls, which I love the House of Edwards. Alyssa, Shangi, and of course, Laganja, my favorite. Laganja Shranja, my favorite queen of all time. A lot of people are either really happy about this or are really upset about this because one, she was on, here's a little backstory of Shangela. Shangela was on season two and she got eliminated in episode one. So RuPaul brought her back for season three and she actually made it to the top four. And then she got eliminated right before the finale, which sucked because Shangela, I don't know what it is about her, but she's funny. People really like her. So she has a big following on Instagram, on Twitter, on across all social media. I'm a big fan if you couldn't tell. She, um, like I said, she knows how to dance. She's not the best seamstress, but she always makes it work. On season three, when RuPaul brought her back, she came out of a box. She came out of a box and was like, hallelujah, I'm back. And everyone was gagged. And then again, they brought her back for season four as a joke. She came out and was like, hallelujah, I'm back. And people were like, what? And then there was a joke and then she didn't really compete on that season though. She's the queen who's been on RuPaul's Drag Race the most. She was on season two, season three, season four for just the first episode as a joke. And now she's gonna be on All Star, allegedly gonna be on All Stars 3, which people are like, just give her the crown already. Like, Rue, how many times do you need to bring her back before you crown her? So a lot of people are rooting for Miss Shanji. She's a lovable character. Like you just can't help but like her. She's made appearances on Dance Moms. She taught Nia the iconic death drop. Yeah, so Shangela has been on Dance Moms a couple of times in season two and in season five, I believe. But um, yeah, Shangela has a bunch of fans, so it'll be interesting to see her on season three. I hope she makes it, I hope she wins it. I was gonna say I hope she makes it far, but no, I hope she wins the whole damn thing because she should, like, she's been on Drag Race how many times? Give her the crown already, Rue. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The camera says it's 21 minutes long, so I try to cut this as much as possible, but there's so much information that goes on into this video that you guys need to hear. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this with your family and friends, anyone who is a fan of Drag Race, people who don't know what Drag Race is. And if you like a competition, reality tv show if you like comedy like this show is hilarious if you know if you don't know how to throw shade you watch the show and you'll learn how to throw shade like this show it's one of the best tv shows ever ever on television so you guys definitely should check it out so i've been rambling like i said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later bye